So this is the partial drainage position. One of the positions you're seeing here is kind of a modified Trent Lindbergh's position. There's a couple of pillows right underneath the pelvis to raise the pelvis up so it kind of creates an inclined position for the client. Okay? The whole goal is to help use the gravity to get all the secretions which are built up here all the way to the top of the airways so it's a lot easier for the client to cough everything out. Now remember, any secretions of the lower lobes of the lungs, you cannot cough it out. You need to bring it to the top areas. <clears throat> so coughing only really removes everything from the upper respiratory tract area. Nothing much from the lower areas. It's very difficult to cough it out. So you need to bring everything out. Even for children with cystic fibrosis, they are like so many lobes could be like, you know, flooded with all these secretions. But the idea is to loosen it up. If she's just going to lay down like this, it's not going to help. Okay? So we need to loosen these secretions. All right? As that slide says, this is good for a lower low position. There is a segment called superior segment. Yeah, that's the best position for this. So we are concentrating on these areas here. So this is where the secretions are confirmed with a stethoscope. We look for that, you know, so less air is going in and out. So I'm confirmed that there's a lot of secretions here. Okay. When I can hear a good flow of air going in and out, there's no secretions. When the air flow has gone down, then I know that there's secretions in this place. Okay. Let's say we have already confirmed that she has secretions here and it's nice and thick. We need to get it out, okay? So, Maria, I can see that you're going to be in this position for about how many minutes, if you can remember? 20. 20 minutes. The client's going to lay down in this position. I think I've been talking about it before you walked in. So, in that 20 minutes, you're going to alternate certain techniques. One of them is a percussion technique. You know that? Cupped hands. And another technique called doing fine vibrations on her back, okay? With your hands interlocked like that, okay? One over the other. And then you're going to perform this. You're going to see how it's going to be done, okay? Now, the cupping, you guys know, you'll be using your wrist movements. Mm -hmm. So target the area where there's more secretions here. So Maria, I want you to just keep breathing. You know the technique I taught you, the diaphragmatic breathing? In through your nose, out through your mouth. Keep doing that while I'm going to gently, you know, use my cupped hands. I'm going to gently tap your back. <coughs> my goal is to loosen all the secretions, and then you can cough it up. Sounds good? You guys get it? So I gave a reasoning also, right? If there's any discomfort or anything, just let me know. I will stop right there, okay? So you, you start breathing in and out normally, in through your nose. Up to your mouth, okay? Go ahead. I can see that the chest is rising, mm -hmm. so she's doing it, okay? So when I'm ready, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to concentrate on this area. Just circling around. And normally a client would cough when you do this. That's quite normal. Is that simulated? No, actually. <laughs> see that? So what is this technique? Cupping. This is percussion cupping, cupping technique. Now, How much also, force you apply for it? Like, what kind of force are you applying? Like, it's obviously not light touch. Uh, this, uh, we don't want to make it like too light. Mm -hmm. It might not be effective, but again, it all depends on the type of clients you have. You know, with clients with osteoporosis, you can't even use that much of force. Sometimes you can break the ribs, mm -hmm. right? So just use that moderate amount of force, just okay. enough to send the impulse. But again, too mild, it won't be that effective. Just keep that in mind, okay? So one more time. Yeah, keep breathing, Maria, then. Yeah. Okay, now watch here. Now I'm going to keep my hands over here, like that, mm -hmm. right, one or the other. And I'm going to keep my hands all tight in isometric position, like nice and tight, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send in some fine vibrations. You see how my hands are moving? Okay, now, when do we do this? When the client is just about to breathe out, not when they breathe in. But the cupping could be done anytime, <coughs> right? But that vibration is done only when she's about to? Breathe out, okay? Now, I have to give her the commands, right? Watch it. So, my hands are here, and I'm going to vibrate. What is my direction of vibration? Taking everything from the lower to the higher. So, I'm vibrating, and I'm moving my hand towards the upper segments. You guys get it? Yeah. Now, Maria, I want you to take a nice deep breath in through your nose, and when I say breathe out, that's when I'm going to apply some fine vibrations on your chest, okay? And you can see that. The, the chest is going to rise up, and I'm going to give her the commandment to breathe out, right? Maria, are you ready? Okay, breathe in through your nose. Now out through your mouth. You see that one? So the amount of force, right? The amount of vibration given there, okay? One more time, in through your nose. Out through your mouth. The whole bed shakes, huh? So this involves a lot of force and application. You gotta keep your hands isometric. I wanna come and do it on each one of you. I want you to feel how it really feels the amount of force is given. So each one, when you're gonna do it on each other, so you know exactly. If you're doing the same amount of force or maybe less, right? So one more time, okay? I'm gonna combine these things. Maria, keep breathing in and out. You can do this anytime, right? Okay? In through your nose? Out through your mouth? 
feel, right? Yeah. Okay. Questions? You get them after this, they get up, they cough. Yes, what happens after this, we're going to make the clients sit up. And usually it becomes very productive, close to that 20 minutes zone. You can see that the gurgling sound, the client is coughing. So best time, just get them, get them sitting and let the client cough out all the phlegm. That's the goal, right? To get all the secretions up towards the upper segments, right? Okay, give it a try. Thanks, Philip. You can cut that. All right, Maria.